Hi guys, this is going to be a quick intro because we have got a lot to do. This video is going to be the start of a challenge and I would absolutely love to have you guys involved in this journey. So you guys know I have done dozens of minimalism videos, I've done dozens of frugality and money saving videos and financial help investing and as you may have seen in my recent video which was how minimalism and wealthy and millionaires are all linked and there's this big link between it all. I find it really interesting to see how the two topics are totally linked and how a lot of millionaires are probably have quite a few minimalist habits as well. So I'm going to start a new challenge and I would love for you guys to be involved in this so please let me know in the comments if you'd like to do this and I can give you a shout out in videos to come if you are getting involved in this journey. I'd also maybe love to do this as a collaboration with some other YouTube and some other creators to let me know in the comments or drop them a comment on their videos to let them know that I'm looking for people to collaborate with. So I'm going to be doing 10 things to declutter from each room of your house as a challenge and it will be going on month to month. So month one is going to be 10 things from each room. It's dependent on the amount of rooms that you have in your house. You may live in a flat, you may only have three rooms in your in your property whatever it is it's 10 things from each room and then we're going to be building on that momentum so let me know in the comments if you want to get involved subscribe if you don't want to miss a video check out all of my other minimalist in the playlist uh, minimalist videos in the playlist down below where i have minimized my whole house and i'm going round two and round three because for me it's just a process that just keeps on going and it's like not a one bang and done it's just this like lifestyle and this process so let's get into the video so as you can see i have got plenty to start with here and I think I might be doing more than 10 things so of course if you want to do more than 10 things feel free do what you can um we are gonna sort out some of this skincare I have done a whole video on decluttering my skincare before but it obviously needs doing again so I'll chat through some of my favorites and the bits I'm going to be decluttering so grab yourself a cuppa guys lots to get on with let's do this so I've got down a couple of these boxes which are from, I actually thought I just saw labels, I may potentially have a label that's still here. Uh, what is that, Asda? Home base? Home base, yeah. So that could probably come off, can't it? Oh, it's on a little string. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk through. What I'll do is I'll insert it all out, and then I'll just talk through some of the bits. Oh my God, I can literally get rid of so much of this stuff. <laughs> oh, it's awful, it is awful. Okay, so that is really nice from the White Company, which was gifted ages and ages ago, but it's done. It's so old. Pseudogram, uh, we have got so many pots of this, and I think it's actually, yeah, 2019, a couple of years out of date, but I mean, I think it's still fine. But I don't know if I need that many pots. I'm going to keep this to the side just in case I've got extra. By the way, I did my own nails. What do we think? They're really a bit rough around the edges board in the house <laughs> um this one again is really old and we stopped using it once they got a bit older so i probably will get rid of that um i mean cotton buds from when i've been to a hotel many moons ago so i'll take that out and i do not need that oh this is good that needs to go in the medical cupboard though Oh, the children will not have this as like our emergency toothpaste, but to be honest, we haven't used it for about a year, so that can go. Razors. Now, when I was not spending money on things like razors and nice things, I would buy these, but honestly, they just used to shred my legs because I'd try and use them for months on end or weeks on end. So those could probably... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use those because um, I don't want to waste them like such a waste of plastic but I won't use them like too long because that's what hurts my legs. Deep heat that'll be Stuart's I'll keep that for him. What's this? Just a sample of something again that can go. Spare toothbrush we will keep that. Oh, that can probably go in the medical cupboard. Okay so we're doing good stuff there. All these toothbrushes are emergency ones and like when we run out and we don't want to go to the shop. So those are good. Um, sanitary products, they can probably just go in a basket all of their own. I mean, what is this? Just rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. And again, same with that. Though. That can maybe go in there. There we go. 
keep it all nice. Keep it all separate like that. Lovely, and then that can all go in the bin. So what are we on already? Oh, hold on, what did I say? Oh, one, one, two, three, four, four bits already. Okay, this is Stuart, uh, Stuart. <laughs> he has no hair. This is Henry's for his hair, it's really good if you're looking for like a curling cream. You definitely need that. Um, I've stopped using this, it's for sensitive skin and baby skin for like eczema and stuff like that, but we haven't used it for ages, so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Oh, these are really good, the reusable cotton wool. This was amazing when I was pregnant, I mean that's how long ago I've had that, so that was actually Henry, so that is eight years old. I mean, oh, that's got to go. Oh, I did not get on with this menstrual cup. My toothbrush uh, charger, definitely need that. Oh, my mum gave me this so long ago and I've not used it. It was when I had a small stint of going swimming. I'm going to keep that because I should actually put it on my in my hair drying box and then I'll use it. What's this? Dry shampoo. Oh, no, that can go. I honestly just can't find a decent one other than Batiste. So that can go. Oh, guys, I'm being so ruthless. Uh, that's a torch. Does not need to be in the bathroom. So this is the menagerie that is at the bottom of one of the boxes. So I'm just going to quickly go through it and put some music over it so you don't have to listen <laughs> to me talking through every single bit of rubbish. And also here we've got our products, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, about 14. And obviously we're doing a 10 a day challenge, or a 10 a room. But I think I can go a little bit longer, don't you? I'm sure I can. And I'm not going to be donating these to refuges or charity or anything like that because they're out of date, otherwise I would. Sweet and funny, quiet. So I'm going to actually wash these because they obviously get really mucky with like oils and products and stuff. But I'm going to wash them but I will have to fill them up to show you what the after declutter looks like but then I'll take it back out to wash it because there won't be time to do that in between. But I'm pleased so far with what I've got. So we've got like toothbrushes that can go in there. This is all going to be sanitary stuff so that menstrual cup can go in there. Brush. and then razor stuff can go here. I've started using a really nice Gillette Venus one and oh my gosh the difference it makes to my skin these are just terrible but like I said I don't I got them when I was doing my no spend and then I used to try and use them all the time and honestly they just shredded my legs so I think there are some things in life that you if you can afford to, you should spend money on because actually it can just give you such a nicer experience and razors and toilet paper are definitely one of them. So you may be finding this hard and for me the key thing is not hoarding things that don't really give you any purpose. As I said before, minimalists have less things but they use more of the things that they do have and I think that's really key to kind of get your head around. So try not to have too many things that don't really have a purpose or don't really have you know a use that you would use frequently. There are some things I'm really begrudge minimizing, giving to charity, selling, giving away because I do think I might use that one day and yes you may well do that. So there are some things that you don't want to take away and that's why doing the 10 things challenge which is definitely inspired by the minimalists you may have seen a documentary on Netflix and I watched the first one and then the recent one I don't know when that came out but I just thought yes they said about doing one thing a day and actually I thought let's go hard or go home let's do 10 things in a day from each room of the house and it's going to really build up momentum so hopefully you're finding this quite therapeutic I find it quite nice to get 
things like this off you know out of my life it's it helps with overwhelm of which we have a lot going on at the moment so hopefully you're finding some benefits to this as well i'm just going to give this a little clean now that it is all empty and i can get to it but it does that there This unit, by the way, is from um, home base, I think. Oh no, is it Ikea? Uh, maybe, I think it's Ikea. <laughs> yeah, it is Ikea. So up here is where I keep all of my flannels. And although at first glance, you may think that's excessive, I often run out. So I'm just gonna give them a nice fold up and satisfying, make it look good. Put my toothbrush in there because it falls over otherwise. Um, but yeah, I use a clean one every day to wash my face. So yeah, that's why there's so many. But let's make it look pretty, shall we? Oh, hiding is a little plethora of things I did not know was there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do that in a sec. These get washed at like 100 degrees or something to get them really clean and they've just all done this. But I'm just gonna eat, stretch out like that and make it nice to use again. This is why I say I'm a messy minimalist. <laughs> that is a lot of pat flannels, but I do use them, so I am okay. I'm at peace with that. So this, okay, let's just quickly look through this. I mean, what we're on 16, 17. This is a bit old now, so it probably won't be any good. Um, I haven't looked in there for so long, so I definitely know it's too old to be using. Uh, 18 is that. Again, just like ho hotel stuff. Never gonna use it. 19, keep that. Oh, they need to be replaced because they don't last very long. 20, 21, 22, definitely I'll use that. 23, don't know, I'll keep that just in case we use it with those plays. Okay, the 26 things, guys. Just forcing yourself to do it if you actually know that it's not bringing much to the party, you're not using it, or you've got double or something, that's a key thing. And that's something we see a lot in my minimizing my wardrobe videos. I have doubles of things, or maybe triples. <laughs> and as I've got a home now, and now that this is relatively empty, I can put some of the things that live up here into it because obviously they just look a bit of a mess up there. So let's go with like a medical kind of vibe there. And then, Tooth, hmm, hmm, more like, hmm, hair. Have we got a category? Do we need a category for everyone? That one definitely needs to be up there because I use it every day. Um, so yeah, hair and body. That's it, hair and body and sort of medical stuff. No, because, oh yeah. So I put my Gaviscon in there. My stomach is rumbling if you can hear, I'm so hungry. Oh, these are, these are both medical. Both the children's. Mm, 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 mm. Another one. Um, okay, this. This I can get rid of because, let's just see, two years old and I literally don't even like the taste of coconut. That was to take my makeup off, but it gave me spots. So then, okay, well, let's have a often used skincare. So I've just dusted these off uh, from the top. So these are things that I'm gonna keep. Things like this, I have just been holding on to. That's actually not as much as in there because it's just been laying down. But this is back from my, when I used to spend a fortune on skincare days and I kind of just been holding on to it and I don't know why and I need to get rid of it. So that's going, it's pretty much empty anyway. Um, that one I'll use because I don't use that. That I do need to actually use. Again, so expensive. And there's just so much, oh, let me show you, actually, I really want to show you these products because I've been obsessed with them recently and I find them so much, like, as good as these, which cost a fortune. So, Beauty Pie, let's have a quick chat because I'm obsessed <laughs> and I think I can feel so much happier about it because I know I'm spending so much little on skincare but still getting really good products. So, if you are a skincare junkie but want to save some money and you haven't signed up yet, uh, I would recommend it because I've been buying it, like, a couple of things you only get a certain amount of spending limit i think i have 
about £200 of the RRP, but each thing, this costs like £8, and it's RRP is about £75. So then you would spend £75, but actually you'd only pay £8, if that makes sense. And then you get that each month. So this month I'm doing a no-buy month, so I'm not spending anything, but that will then go over to next month, so that's fine. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try it. I don't get like a free, it's not an affiliate. Uh, no, it is affiliate. I think I get free spend, which... Yeah, so I wouldn't really use that. I do think if you want to try it, it's so worthwhile. And you get your free month, first month free. So that's really good for you guys. And every, so much, let me show you what I've been using. I've gone off on a tangent, but if anyone is a skincare junkie and they want to save money, I can't recommend them enough. So this daily moisturizer I use, I've had this maybe four months. Just hit pan, but obviously you can see there's loads left in there. And again, I think that was maybe £10. So I know that's probably expensive if you're not buying expensive skincare. But, I mean, I think this was about £6. That's lasted me about six months. And this is honestly the best moisturiser I've ever tried in my whole life. It's so good. Uh, and then the eye stuff. So I think it's just a really good way of spending less money on skincare if you're spending it already to try it out. So, yeah, I'll link them in the description. It's not sponsored or anything. It's just something I'm using so hopefully you'll like that as well and you get your first month free to try it out so oh my goodness <laughs> I just love the feeling once you've done it, it makes you feel so happy so up here is my go-to masks and skincare I've got more Lizelle somewhere else because I do love that when I'm feeling a little bit stressed in my skin so yeah quite a few masks but they all have their own purpose and I use them I literally use them every week so I'm okay with that and like I say it's up to you guys what you are okay with uh, that's now nice and clear, that's Stuart's little bit, in fact I might put some more of his bits up there, now that there's space, um, I've got some just toothpicks and beauty tools, bits and bobs, and then my flannels, toothbrush, uh, medical stuff, shaving and hair, I have not yet got to this bit but I just think this video will be so long if I do that now, so that is for another time, and those can go in the medical, so yeah I'm really really happy so far with this, I didn't want to make it too long, it's not a you know, it's not a whole skincare declutter, but yeah, nicely done. And yes, I think I did about 25 items. So let me know in the comments how many you got done and got rid of. So there we go, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed part one of this declutter with me series and the 10 things I've minimized this week. Don't forget to let us know in the comments if you're getting involved. I can give you a shout out in the next uh, video that I do about this. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do this as a collab with some of your favorite creators. So let me know who they are. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you so soon. Bye. <laughs>